I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting trigonometric identity. We need to prove secant x plus 1 divided by secant x minus 1 plus cos x plus 1 divided by cos x minus 1 equals to 0. So let's try to simplify the first term here and try to make it as negative of the second term only then their combination or sum will be 0. So we could write the left side as instead of secant x, I'll write 1 over cos, right? So 1 over cos x plus 1 divided by 1 over cos x minus 1. And the second term we'll keep as such, which is cos x plus 1 over cos x minus 1. So that is the left side. So let's continue. So we take a common denominator here for cos x. So we get 1 plus cos x divided by common denominator cos x. Everything over. Here also we can take common denominator. So we get 1 minus cos x divided by cos x. Plus the second term cos x plus 1 divided by cos x minus 1. Now, cos x and cos x gets cancelled, so we are left with 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x plus cos x plus 1 over cos x minus 1. So what you notice here is, this is 1 minus cos x and then we have cos x minus 1. To make this cos x minus 1, we could take negative of this, right? So that makes it negative of 1 plus cos x divided by, so we could write this as cos x minus 1. Do you see that? Plus cos x plus 1 divided by cos x minus 1, correct? Now, we have shown that the first term is negative of the second term and their combination is indeed equal to zero and that is what we wanted to prove. Right? So that is how you could actually prove this identity. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.